Hello guys, welcome to Sampada Creators and I'm your host Shubham Sharma. So guys, in this video, we are going to talk about how you can be eligible for ZK Sync airdrop if it ever happens. But first we should know about what is ZK Sync. Guys, ZK Sync is another company which is working on layer 2 solutions and preparing its own DEX, decentralized exchange. Now what is layer 2? For your information, layer 2 is upgraded version of Ethereum blockchain. What does this mean? This means that everything which we do on Ethereum blockchain means transfer our tokens from one wallet to another or doing transactions on Uniswap or any other exchange which works on Ethereum blockchain or adding or removing liquidity from different different exchanges means decentralized exchanges. All these things cost money right on Ethereum. So layer 2 is upgraded version where this fees of doing all these things is very very less than the current amount which we are facing right now like for now if we are paying around 70 to 80 dollars for a particular swap on uniswap protocol or any other dex on ethereum blockchain this fees of swapping on layer 2 will cost only about one dollar or even in cents around 30 to 40 cents so this is the difference which we will see in the swaps of different different exchanges so this layer 2 is a much awaited version of ethereum blockchain where every person every normal person or every crypto trader is setting their eye on that we will be able to do more swaps in less money on ethereum blockchain so that is why every other company which is working on layer 2 solutions uh, there are rumors that those companies will be a dropping their tokens so zk sync is also one of those companies so how we can be eligible for this airdrop for this purpose we have to go to our computer screen so let's go there so guys welcome to my computer screen and uh, i have opened this website of uni.zksync.io swap so guys let me tell you one thing that uh, for zk sync airdrop we have to do work in two websites first work will be done on testnet and second thing will be done on mainnet. So this website, this uni.zksync.io uh, is a testnet website, right? So what we have to do here, first we have to connect our wallet, right? Click connect our wallet, MetaMask, next connect. So this is the ID, it will automatically add this layer or you can say the blockchain onto our MetaMask. So we click on this approve, then now switch network and now it will be added right so my wallet is opened here right so request a token from a faucet means it is a test network so they will automatically give us tokens from where we will do swaps right so request tokens from a faucet tweet right it will open my twitter account right so for privacy purposes i am uh, blurring the screen so this tweet will auto populate right now what I have to do is click on this tweet. I have uh, tweeted that populated tweet now successfully claimed. So after my tweet is done, here you can see I am seeing this balance of 300 USDC max, right? So I have got 300 USDC for test network or test purposes. And I have also got these tokens 100 link and I 300, right? So I want to switch my USDC to let's say WBTC or uh, let's change DAI right or let's say uh, I want to switch my DAI to WBTC right so I have 300 DAI right let's convert my 250 DAI into WBTC right so I'm seeing this option allow the Uniswap protocol to use your DAI right just like Uniswap so <laughs> it is copy of Uniswap so it is automatically saying here in the option right here that uh, allow the Uniswap protocol. So I have to click on this. Click on this Uniswap protocol. A pop-up window will open, right? So this is the pop-up window and I have to click on this sign. I click on this sign and Uniswap protocol have approved my DAI. Means now Uniswap protocol can use my DAI, right? So now I can click on this swap. So confirm swap. And now again, a pop-up window, right? This is the pop-up window and I have to again click on sign and my transaction is submitted and it is success. So I have successfully converted my 250 DAI into 5.24 WBTC. 
on the test network i can also switch them back right so for switching them back only i have to click on this icon right so my wbtc will be up and my die will be down right so i can switch back my wbtc to die or any other point in the list right so i can do switching like this so this is how we can use this test network of zk sync right so this was the test network now i will show you the website of main network i click on this new window paste this link and uh, this is the main network right so i click on this ethereum wallet again click on this metamask next connect right now this switch network because i was using the test network of ck sync right so my test network blockchain was open now it will convert or you can say switch back to my ethereum mainnet right switch network and my wallet will be connected and if i click on this metamask icon right i can see here that my ethereum mainnet is open right the blockchain is ethereum now right so uh, in the mainnet uh, website of zk sync there is only one thing to do which is add funds right so uh, i can uh, click on this select token and it will show you balance here no balance is yet means i don't have any balance on my ethereum mainnet right uh, this is a wallet which i created for uh, this video purpose so i don't have any balance in it but if you are using your account right so you will have that ethereum right so that balance will be shown here so you will just have to select that ethereum and put an amount in it right how much amount of ethereum you want to transfer you put that amount in here and you click on this add funds and your funds will be added to zk sync right after your funds uh, have been added you can uh, either transfer them or you can withdraw them right so you have to click on withdraw and your work on mainnet is also done so this is it guys this is how we can be eligible for zk sync airdrop if it happens in near future thank you for watching have a nice day